Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Icola Dink, and welcome back to a very new episode, a new gameplay of me playing Final Fantasy 16. So, last time we left off was we returned to our, our hometown of Rosaria because of Hoopa Koopa and his gang decided to pull up and you know make some chaos and wanted and basically wanted to destroy everything and and not not only that hold up not not only that my boy torgo marcus look this motherfucker said this dude this dude evolve who is this guy he went from a cute puppy, and then it then turned into like a badass dog, and then turned into a legit Pokemon. What? Wait, a, a snow cloak? Oh, a new Pokemon. Um, a brand new Pokemon identified. But anyways, dog. When <sighs> when this when Torgo, aka Marcus, when this dog transformation into that form, I was lost for words. I didn't know what to say, other than just being speechless. What the fuck? This was. Probably will will be the very best like transformation in this game. But anywho, ignore all any ignore all of that. If you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about, check my previous gameplay and you know why. But uh, before I start, <clears throat> leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go. Arthur, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Koopka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him. Oh she's yeah, this motherfucker spent. Koopa got fucked up. I chopped his poor little hands. For anything unusual. An incredible I hawk who? Who are you? Alive? Still busy saving the world. Who, whoever you are, I love Mid. you. When did you get back? Mid? Just now. Huh, she's mid. Nah, just kidding. Are your Got. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Staying this time. Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here. I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time. To Not see. gonna lie. Not gonna lie, but. This game got got some good baddies. I'll admit it. This game got some good baddies. I'll I'll stop talking. Successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. 
The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mint's plotting. Hmm. Shut your ass up. All right, um, mid. You took your time. I'm a busy man, mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me. Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the designs for the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. He will, he will play. He is not a muse. I'll let you know if I need out else. Bruh. All right. Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. I got so many sub story, uh, sub stories. I got a completed. Um. Up here, right? No, down. Other than that, probably like after Final Fantasy 16, obviously I'm gonna continue playing Yakuza Kamari, and then along with that, I'm gonna continue playing um, Little Nightmares because, um, you know, we are getting a Little Nightmares 3 coming out soon. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Oh, yep. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. So that's one down, and then... Was wondering where you got to. Granny! From Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's it's Gram Gram. She's workshop in the stores, and asked me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This slow. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Going down? Alright. But yeah, y'all. Um, probably, probably like after this game. 
I'm gonna concentrate on beating Yakuza Kamari, then get on to like little nightmares. Either play by one at a time or play both. Because like I wanna I wanna like upload like um <clears throat> different. You know what I mean? Like upload every every single games. Either that or just do one at a time. She's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Vardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. I was like, dude, I was about to say, like, where the fuck? Where is the, the goddamn motherfucking <clears throat> location? Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Oh, I see. All right, well, can I uh, teleport? I don't, um, I, I don't think that's, yeah, it's, it's not helping. No use calling Ambrosia now. Who are you? Oh, fuckers, come here. Get fucked, loser. Stop. Nope. Get your bitch ass over here. Get fucked. I feel so sorry. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa. At least I know it's down in this area. Chuckable. Let me ride. Good girl. Yes, sir. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh wait, no, wait, what? Oh here.
If it ain't the lad who saved my life, what brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. About what? What's up? Well, that there is Cressida. Yeah. I grew up. Yeah. And much left of it now, though. It's at my parents' graves. <laughs> but I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Is there any chance you could. Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. All right, bet. This shouldn't take long. Get your ass over here. All right. Nope. Damn, that damage, though. That's it. Good lord. Die, you bitch. Plus, nope. Oh, good lord! What the fuck are you? What? What type of chicken are you? No. Oh, you're dangerous. I don't like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right, motherfucker. All right, calm down. No, stop. Nope. Damn. Nope. 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 That move is why. Come here. I might. Uh, yeah, I might have to change that. Nope. Nope. Ah. Nope. Super. I'm wondering how close am I, like, in this game? Hopefully, like, I'm almost done. That should do it. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? 
Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Before that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And then, uh. Whew. Hometown, here I come. New hometown. Technically, the third one. Alright, um. Do, 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 do. your various orders and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's rest that's brilliant thanks Clive is there anything else you need nope Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for and I've got all my plans drawn up so as soon as Bernard gets here we can get to work <laughs> I can't wait See how Jill's faring. That's uh cool. I guess. That's it. Alright, so anyway anyways, uh Jill. Ah, Clive. Talk. Yeah. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The homie? The shelves. Say less. Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's right. So. Oh, please, oh, please explain how does. Does it. Uh, Torgo. Yeah. Look, I can't speak. But tell me how Torgo got his powers. How was how was this motherfucker a tailed beast? Jill like, as a sheet when it's it's still it's still clicking my head. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgo. Yes. Where did you get him? Like. In the first place, uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing us. I'm hoping this arc is going is going to be like all all about Torgo. Please do. I'm here. I'm I am here. I'm, here. I'm starving. No sign of his pack. They took him in. Okay. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory, Clive. I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. Hmm? An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. Oh, hold on, rare? In the bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. 
What? Was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frostwolf. Now, oh. the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. Mm, yeah, yeah. Her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other. You're saying that Jill granted Togel his powers. What? Oh. Just like Fenrir. Ooh. People called him my but Togel and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later. His powers awakened. Right. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgo blasting those bastards the kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgo's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgo. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding the yes. original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Hmm. <sighs> brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled. All right. Uh, where? So, so, this whole time, Torgo was this um, legendary like dog and shit, right? And then Jill like granted him like fucking powers, my my dude. That's that's insane. Hunt for Kupka. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. More history? Right. Here. Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Ooh. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? What's up? We um have a guest. I don't like. I don't guest. like this. I don't like this. Who who is it? Who is the guest? Who is the guest? An enemy? Yeah. For your trouble. To 
was a pleasure. Oh! No? <laughs> Who? Uncle Byron? <laughs> uncle? How the fuck? Even my uncle is here. That's crazy. I like how this episode is like calming down from all this like chaos from that last um, episode. Anyways, <clears throat> meanwhile, they're twin side. The Holy Empire. Okay. Dude, look at it. It's so gorgeous. The government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their oh, is the matter, I see no that guy. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Dion. I learned something here. Okay, I feel like, um, <clears throat> Dion, um, he's, he, he's not evil. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. for battle but sire do not make me repeat myself return to your camp and await my orders if 
that is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. MacGregor, forgive you. Do the astrologers all go? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Interesting. Hello. All right. Um. One way to find out. There is a lot to do. Holy crap. Uh. Doo -doo -doo Dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> Why you sound like that? <laughs> Two thousand. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. More puzzle. History. Pay attention. Hooah! It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. 
Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed, days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So, it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Mm. All right. Um. You know what? You know what? Um. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and. Stop the video here. If you enjoyed this video so far, leave a like, comment, and sub subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm sorry that, like, there wasn't really doing anything. It's just cutscenes after cutscenes. You know? But, anyways, um, I'm out here. Take it easy. Don't forget to, um, subscribe. Later.